On location was at Eastside High, am I correct? Yes. Okay. Were the students cooperative as you were making this film? I can't tell you how how very cooperative everybody was. It's when we first got there, Joe got up and he made a speech. Now this man, you want to talk about a charismatic magician? Hmm. It's amazing control over his, you know, his, his school and these students. But he got up and he said, you know, they're going to be making the picture and we are the stars. He says, you know, we, Eastside High, is the stars. So let's give them every help we can, you know. And by George, that's what they did. They that's were, what they did. They were there. They were there. I think when people saw him on the cover of Time magazine with a baseball bat, some educators and myself included thought, well, maybe students were running from him. Uh, but the film portrays just the opposite. He was a student's friend. Would you agree with that? Oh, well, yeah. Uh, you have to, you know, the baseball bat business just... It was a symbol. Just, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it was a symbol of how, what his approach uh, was. Because when he first went into that school, the first thing he did was he got the names of all of the, as he labels them, miscreants, you know, drug dealers, uh, heavy users, and people who had been there for uh, three or four or five years and weren't, obviously, weren't doing anything, you know. And he got all of those names and put them out of school. So you are no longer here. Was that accurate? Did he put them up on the stage like that and said, you people are, you've graduated, you're just... Yes, he did, he did that. He did it just like that because he's, he's also uh, um, psychologically very smart, you know. Mm -hmm. And this, this was for the sake of those who were going to remain, mm -hmm. you know. Did you agree with his methods? Uh, I read something when you first read the script, you were skeptical of some of the things Joe Clark was doing at Eastside High, but after being there and portraying him, how do you feel about his methods now? Oh, yeah. Well, when I first read it, I didn't know, you know, I didn't know much about uh, the background. I mean, a script is a script. Like, real yeah. life is real yeah. life, you know? Uh, and the school is like a model of uh, decorum, and, and uh, it's clean, and it's, uh, you know, and he, he walks the halls constantly. Uh, you see him Just picking up little scraps of paper, and, <laughs> you know. And, he must uh, have tremendous energy. Tremendous. He, he, it's a, he tremendous energy, mm -hmm. and uh, he's a he's a, he's a very dynamic man, and uh, and he th almost thrusts this at his students, you know, this, and they they know, yeah, they know what he's about and why he's about, you know, and so they cling to him. I felt he had as much antagonism from administration and faculty as he did from the students. He had no antagonism from students. Once he made his move in that school, that drastic move that he made, and he turned <laughs> and looked <laughs> at the rest of them and said, toe the line or get your hat, that's tough love. They yeah. recognize that. Yeah. Kids will tell you if they could find the words, help me. I don't know the road. As a teacher you know. myself, Morgan, I find that they do want discipline. Absolutely. They're craving for discipline. They're angry at you if you don't. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make you discipline. <laughs> you could do that, too. I, I love the first scene when you met the faculty, and you looked at the, you had the football coaches there, and uh, you said, Mr., I forget his name, you're now the head coach, and the head coach is now the assistant coach, and you're tired of of uh, your team getting pushed around the field and I think what, what he was trying to do is develop pride in that high school and then the angle on sports never picked up again but I did read something that he did turn the, the sports programs around too the team started to play better yes he did that was that we had to scale it back a little yeah you know, a lot yeah. and uh, that was going to be a, a big major uh, factor there uh, story-wise and cost-wise, and uh, it got to, when it got down to it, it just couldn't afford it, you know. Yeah, I mean, you can only do so much. You can only do so much, yeah. right. Now.